So what if you could create original B-roll for your videos without picking up a camera? That's now possible with AI. And in this video, I want to introduce you to a tool that makes it so unbelievably easy. Just look at the videos I was able to create in just a few minutes. The results are remarkable. It can really create original videos for whatever style you prefer and you can use them however you like. In my last video, I talked about this exact same tool, Poyo AI, but even since then, they've added a handful of new features that I think warranted an entirely new video. With Poyo AI, there are all kinds of ways to generate videos. So if you want to see some of the original features like text to video or image to video, make sure you go watch my first video where I guide you through the process for each step-by-step. -step. In this video, I want to showcase the three new features that have just come to Poyo AI. Number one, video to video. Number two, AI preset templates. There are so many new ones now. And number three, video upscaling. Each one has some unique abilities, so let's go check them out. All right, so we are inside my computer. This is the Poyo.ai landing page, and you saw this in the last video if you watched it. On the landing page, they just showcase some of the different videos that you can generate. In the last video, we saw image to video and text to video. So in this video, we're gonna look at video to video. This is brand new to Poyo AI. As you can see, there's a really simple form here you can fill out to generate any kind of video to video style you want. I went ahead and pulled a video from my iPhone that we can use to test this. It's just a video of me and my girlfriend. If we click on styles here, you can see we have a lot of different options to choose from. For this example, I think we're gonna go with Disney Pixar V3. That looks good to me. Let's leave the prompt blank so we can see what it does on its own. For video length, let's go ahead and line it up with the length of the video. So let's do five seconds. I'm not sure if you actually have to change that at all, but we'll just leave it at five and just that way we get the full length of the video. And then below that, you have the option to restyle the subject only so that wouldn't change the background. And then a custom background lets you change the color of the background if you wanna do that. So let's leave those turned off and let's click create to begin the generation. So the generation for this is gonna take, you know, two to five minutes. And so while that's generating, I will wait and then I'll cut to the finished video as soon as it's done. Okay, so I think this generation actually turned out great. I'm really impressed. It tracks the faces perfectly. And, you know, maybe you could do a couple generations if you didn't like the exact face effect. But overall, I think that's a really impressive result, right? Now let's do one more just to see a different effect example. So let's go with Pixel Art V3 and let's run the generation back one more time and see what kind of results we get. I'm gonna click create again, and then it's gonna to get to work and then I will cut to the finished product as soon as it's done. Okay, this generation is complete. Let's click play and watch this one. So this is cool, this is the pixel art effect. There is a little bit of hair popping in and out and changing as the camera shifts. I think that you could probably regenerate and get a better result for that. But overall, the effect is really cool. So if you want to download the video, you just scroll down and click the menu here and you can click download. And then if you want to share it, you can actually click the copy link here and it will share a hosted link to your video. If you want, if you made a fun video and you want to share it with a friend or whatever. Now let's go over to the templates page on the menu here and let's check out some of these other new effects that you can use. So unlike the previous example, this actually takes a image and turns it into a video, right? So this gives you a little bit more flexibility because you can take any image you have, maybe something you've generated on mid journey or just an old photo anything and then turn it into a amazing video right so we have a few options here we have curly hair a melt effect we have a hulk transformation a wizard hat generator there's all kinds of silly fun effects that you could use here so let's just try the hulk effect and just see what happens right i went ahead and pulled some images off of a free image website pexels so let's go ahead and upload one of those and click create it did leave the prompt to the default prompt so you can see it says Hulk and that's it. So we'll see what the AI does with that prompt and this image. Again, it'll take two to five minutes. So I'll, we'll cut to the finished video as soon as it's ready. Okay, this one is done generating. Let's click play and see how the effect plays out here. Oh, it gets right into it and we immediately turn into a Hulk. Wow, so that uh, it's red here on the chest looks crazy. It really actually worked pretty well. Okay, that's wild. So let's go back, let's try another one. Let's try this AI inflate effect. I have no idea how this will work out. Uh, let's pull up another image. This is just another random image I pulled from Pexels. This time the prompt is, the main subject in the scene begins to inflate, become larger and rounder. 
Okay, let's let's see how this goes, right? Interesting that that's a more detailed prompt compared to the Hulk one, but it's only 10 credits, so let's click create and see what happens, and then I will show you guys the result as soon as it's done generating. Okay, the generation is done. Let's click play. Okay, so that just basically turned her into a big skin colored bubble. Okay, I guess you could have predicted that based on the AI inflate effect title and all we gave it was, you know, a shoulders up profile picture, right? So it had to come up with something there. So as you can see, a lot of these effects are really dependent on the kind of image base that you give it to work with. So you have to play with it and test it. And I'm sure, you know, you can run a couple generations and get slightly different results. But regardless, lots of potential here to use these different kinds of effects um, creatively in any kind of project that you're working on. So now they've added an AI tools page inside of Poyo, and I think they're going to add a lot more features here. But right now, the first one is video upscaler, right? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the videos I generated at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to put it here because they only export in 720 P, I think. So what we're going to do is take the Pixar video and we're going to throw it in here and then we're going to have it upscale it. If you click on scale, they actually give you the option to select how much you want to upscale it. So I think ours is currently this 1280 by 720. So let's turn it up to 4K here and see what the results end up looking like, right? If we click on mode, they actually give you a few different specializations you can select from here. I think we're just going to go with sharpen mode, but you can try the other ones if you want. I'm going to click create and we're just going to see what happens. Okay, the generation is done. This is now in 4K and if I click download, we can probably double check that. So if I go to download, save it. Let's go to the folder and then right click for info. And yeah, we are dimensions 3840 by 2160. So now that's a 4K video that you can use however you like pretty awesome stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like if you liked this video. I have made some other AI tool videos that I think you might like as well. They should appear on the screen right about now. Godspeed.